it is finally time for a new room makeover because it has been like due time for my room you guys i swear to you my room has turned into just like walls of filming space and it's uncoordinated it's not cute everything about it has just been like so crazy and i've been doing so many other projects i've kind of put this one to the side so i figured it is time to make my room look pretty too, you know? I have a whole wall that I Tumblr DIY'd with some wallpaper that I created from some images. I have a wall of shelves with a DIY storage cabinet next to it. I have a desk. My iMac fell off my desk during the earthquake. So rude. Earthquakes need to never ever do that to me again. I've kind of mapped together a little bit of a mood board. Just things that I like, textures I like, colors I like, furniture I, pieces that I like. And I'm honestly not going to do too much. I'm actually going to try to repurpose some of the furniture pieces in my room. But I'm also going to be introducing a couple new things and a quick little self-promotion if you are not already make sure to subscribe to my channel i post brand new videos every single week and also click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button because it notifies you every time i upload a brand new video because sometimes they just don't send out subscription boxes which is again rude and you can also follow me on instagram lone fox home for more home inspiration in photo form So let's talk about the floor plan that I want to achieve in this space. And since I don't have the most storage in here, I really want to maximize the amount of storage. So I'm going to be keeping a dresser and I'm also going to be adding an additional form of storage. I want to also keep my desk, my clothing rack. I want to add a little bit of life with a plant, add a nightstand, and of course my bed's going to be in the center and there might be a couple other additions here and there. I'm not really sure. So we'll see how this video progresses. First thing that I just knew had to go was the wall of collaged photos. And that is not because I don't like the pictures at all. I absolutely love this wall, but it's been up for probably like eight months now. And it's just kind of gotten old in my eyes, if that makes sense. I look at it every single day and I just wanted a breath of fresh air. So I decided to pull that down. If you're curious about how I created this, I actually have a video on my channel all about it, um, which I will put in a card on the screen for you. And I'm actually gonna store a lot of these images in a drawer for a later DIY use if I feel need to do so. Life of the Lone Fox. Look at this. My car has been packed with Ikea for a solid probably a week and a half for this room tour. Hi, it is the next day now um, and I am at Home Depot right now because I need to pick up a couple of things. I made a little list on my phone. I was actually going to go yesterday. I forgot my wallet at my friend's house so I had to drive an hour to get that and then it was just too late and then I was just like kind of lazy, you know, so I decided to go today instead. So we're at the Home Depot. Got to pick up a couple of things here. So let's head on in. I ended up getting golden pecan because it sounded the most appetizing and it looked the most kind of mid-century-esque. I also got some Danish oil, which is just going to finish off the dresser and raw wood IKEA furniture. So I am back home from Home Depot and I just actually went to the gym really quickly, which is why I'm currently wearing this outfit. But I'm going to construct the desk that I bought at Ikea the other day. Um, I just want to construct this before the sun goes down so at least I have something else done for the day because I don't want to just say that I went to Home Depot for the day. assembled but I'm actually not going to connect them yet because there's a slight possibility that I might actually spray paint the legs completely black because my clothing rack which is going to be right next to my desk is black metal so I might want to do it like a matte farmhouse black uh, spray paint just to kind of match the vibe but I'm also not too sure so I'm going to hold these off I'm going to set them um, just to the side until I start actually moving the furniture into my room and then I'm going to decide what looks best. Hello guys, thank God it's Friday because that means the weekend's coming up, but I headed to Home Depot this morning and I picked out my paint sample. So I ended up going with this little swatch card here. This has the colors Cactus Bloom, Sweet Curry, Enneable Orange, and Rumba Orange. And basically what I did was I decided that instead of picking out a color right away, I was gonna pick some samples. So I ended up getting these three shades here in sample form. So what exactly does sample form mean? Well, 
it's these little miniature paints and these only cost three dollars and thirty cents each so I ended up spending ten dollars because I was kind of scared I've never painted my room a color in my life I've always had just white walls but I want to add that pop and I'm really excited and I think it's gonna be fun but the color that I definitely am leaning towards is this sweet curry color right here I'm gonna paint all three of these on the wall in big little swatch sections let it dry and see what it looks like with the lighting in my room because sometimes the lighting's a little bit cool tone and I'm gonna let it like sit and just like really just marinate in my brain for like a full day that sounds disgusting but let's get to swatching mr. mirror if you if you mess up my wall I'm going to throw you off the balcony so this is a section that I'm gonna be painting I got a paintbrush I actually got a whole set of paintbrushes because this was on sale for $14 but I'm gonna break through this and get out the brush here it is starting with cactus bloom which is that lightest color Honestly, I can already 100% tell that the amiable orange, which is the darkest of the three, is going to be too dark. So I don't even know if I want to paint it on the wall because that just means I'm going to have to put a lot of coats over it to cover it. So I guess I didn't even need to get this one, but I can use it for future DIY projects or something, I figured. So I'll just keep this in the container. And you base of it to put the drawers in and then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do to it because I really wanted to either stain it put um, some oil on it or paint it I don't know really what I'm doing yet so we are going to see Today is painting day. I have finally decided on a paint color and guys, I went through so much trouble trying to decide a stupid paint color. I don't know, I couldn't see the vision in my head and I finally found it just popped up but I literally tested so many different paint colors like I was making and creating my own paint colors and then I was going to paint them on a piece of paper and bring them in like I will show you I even filmed the entire process but I'm not gonna actually include that in the video because well I am right now but I'm not gonna show you how I did it because I ended up actually going with one of the original paint colors I first painted with because the other colors when I painted them on the wall I loved the way that they looked once they were painted but at the same time when it turned nighttime or when it was like I had my yellow light on my room like because my lights in the ceiling are yellow the colors just didn't look good the only color I liked that I have been kind of eyeballing for the past two days is that top left color which is the cactus bloom one that I got at Home Depot sorry about my crazy hair I literally popped out of bed drove to Home Depot bought the paint color and it is now I think 11 o'clock in the morning so I'm going to paint this one on the wall I'm really excited I'm doing a little like half line based off that inspo photo I showed you guys and I'm just excited to get the paint on the wall because I feel like once I have that on I can really start the actual like decorating process I've already gone ahead and use some frog tape to paint around the edges and this tape is really amazing if you want like a super clean straight line so I highly suggest that I got it at Home Depot as well um, and then I did use just a ruler and tape measure just to make sure I had my straight line at the like top portion of my window like right at the bottom where I'm gonna be cutting it into a line it's gonna be like two-thirds colored and then one-third of it's gonna be left white at the top which I'm really excited for so let's get to painting Here. 
So painting is pretty self-explanatory. Just watch what I'm doing. As most of you guys know, I say that about everything in the world, but I'm just giving this a coat of the Cactus Bloom paint color. And I just did one coat on the entire wall. This was a paint and primer in one. So really only needed one coat. It looked amazing. I went in with a roller in the main section and then I used a smaller roller around the window seal. And then lastly, I finished it off with a paintbrush around all of the edges just to make sure that the paint was all the way to the edge of the tape. And then I let it dry for a couple hours before removing the tape for this reveal. After spending a solid seven hours creating that Ikea dresser, I wanted to also spend another two hours staining it and another six for it to dry. So I got some Danish oil and I put it on the wood and I realized that honestly, like it was just kind of a yellow looking wood. I did not like the way that it ended up looking like. So I ended up grabbing the original stain that I purchased at Home Depot, the natural pecan color. And I did a full coat of the natural pecan color all over the dresser. And in the end, I think it looked really, really amazing. I let it dry for a couple of hours and it had kind of just like a light, toned wood, but a little bit of warmth to it. When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened then? Past that. When? Just now. We're at now now. Go back to then. This bowl here is one that I really want to tackle next. It's going to have that long wooden dresser that I created and I want to put it on here. I'm getting rid of this white Ikea dresser because I've just had it for a long time and it's just not any form of stylish. Like I don't like it. It's just clunky and big. I don't 100% know if I'm going to be keeping this yet. It's not... I want to keep it and I want to put it on this wall right here that like I'm touching, but I don't know if it's going to fit. So I'm just going to have to see with like spacing and size and such if this does work. But this is such a great storage item and I love it. So I want to keep it if possible, but I'm going to start moving in the dresser um, and then just transferring a lot of my DIY supplies into the dresser, which is so exciting because I have more storage. Last thing that I'm kind of running into is this little shelf area right here because it acts as such a great storage space, but it also kind of looks a little cramped in here with it on this wall. This room serves so many functions that I just have to make sure everything kind of works, you know? So this is what it looks like from this side, which, oh, it looks so good from this side. Love it. And this turned out so pretty. That color is amazing. Today is the last day of my room renovation, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of the finishing touches, the decorations, the wall hangings, the bedding, all that fun sort of stuff. So let's get started. Guys, I look crazy right now, but the room is completely finished. I've been sweating all morning just trying to get it put together because I've just been wanting to see what it's gonna look like. This has been the longest video I think I've ever filmed. And I'm finally ready to share with you guys the reveal. So let's reveal it in three, two, one.
you guys. I hope that you really did enjoy. I am obsessed with the outcome. I feel it looks very fresh in here. It's a little bit colorful and playful and kind of urban outfitters. I wanted to go for that more urban aesthetic and that's exactly what I think I was able to achieve and I personally love the space so much. Keep in mind guys that if my room does look a little bit more cluttered than a normal room or a bit more furniture than someone would normally have, that is because I film all of my videos out of my room, all my DIY projects, I have all my supplies, all my clothing and that requires me to have like a lot of stuff on hand so I need places to store them. Thus, that's why I have a lot of storage in here but I'm going to stop rambling because I have a feeling this video is going to be so long. I've been filming for a full week now so I'll let you guys get on with your day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week and turn on that bell so you get notified when I post brand new videos. You can also follow me on Lone Fox Home and my personal one is I'm Drew Scott on Instagram but I will catch you guys all in my next video. Have an amazing day and bye.